Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this Tuesday morning. So good to have you with us. Now, we're talking medical yes. chat on a Tuesday. And there's always a chance that during the festive season that you'll be exposed to something that you're allergic to with all the food going around. Mm. So mm. allergy symptoms aren't usually life-threatening, but a severe allergic reaction can lead to anaphylaxis. Yes, anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction that needs to be treated right away and of course left untreated it can be deadly in children the most common cause is food for adults the main cause is medication so if you don't know what triggers your allergy attack certain tests can help identify the allergen of course here to help us unpack all of this anaphylaxis and what it's about and of course how to avoid it this festive season is our trusted medical professional Dr. Darren Green, Good everybody. Woo, I'm so happy when you're here. Grand I just feel like France. all is right with the world. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so let's That's begin good. first by maybe further explaining how anaphylaxis is caused. Basically, your immune system goes into overdrive. Mm. So it recognizes uh, a substance, whether that be food or something from the environment, or even the toxin from a bee or a wasp sting, for example. Yeah. And then its response, your immune system's response to that allergen or trigger is in overdrive, it's exaggerated. And what an anaphylaxis actually means is you have a systemic reaction. In other words, the blood pressure changes, the blood supply to the different vital organs changes. You have shutdown of certain systems and uh, you have then a flurry of clinical symptoms that occurs because of an excess or overdrive yeah. of your immune yeah. system. So we don't ever want to get to that point, but that's usually no. how we know that we're now allergic to something. Correct. How can one test prior to all of that going down that you actually have a food allergy? Yeah, it's funny. Some parents actually take peanuts, for example, and just rub them on the child's skin in a local area to see oh. first if there's Where a reaction. Is it? Yes. But there are uh, medical tests that we can do, uh, you know, what we call the skin prick uh, tests, mm -hmm. where they take a, a certain component of the chemical and uh, you'll have a sequence of uh, little skin pricks on the skin, and you can actually see which one is which. We also have uh, radio immune assays, which we send in, where they just draw blood and send it in, where they can test your, your, your system, your yeah. immune system's allergic nature to a host of, of triggers, yeah. from eggs and peanuts to Bermuda grass and weeds, and horse cat and dog dander and house dust mite yeah. and all those things. Yeah. Sure. So, you know, you can know about these wow. things in advance, but, uh, you know, the problem with... Peanut allergies, and a lot of them, uh, is that you don't know, even latex allergy, how the food's being prepared in a restaurant over mm. this festive season. They use latex gloves in the kitchen while preparing the salad, oh, wow. and there you go, touching the salad, eating the salad, and you don't realize, oops, that's where the powder or the latex actually sure. caused the allergy in the okay. first place. Wow. So we'll important. get to discussing the symptoms of an anaphylact anaphylactic reaction. <laughs> I wanted to maybe just, uh, you know, cure my curiosity here. Why are some people allergic and other people just not? Yes, so uh, you've got a, uh, basically a predisposition, sometimes genetically, as to having an overeager beaver immune system. Yeah, uh, yours and, is just like ready to go. Uh, and you know, and, and the issue is, basically, the, uh, the modulation of it is exposure and sensitivity to a trigger over time. So sometimes you can actually uh, prevent becoming allergic to something by introducing it in small amounts at a time. That's called desensitization. Uh, and they use that principle a lot in treating people with allergies. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting stuff. All right. 021-430-9881. Give us a call uh, with all your questions uh, surrounding allergies. And we are ready to answer all kinds of allergies, including, yes, those who are allergic to cheap gifts. People are out there like, oh, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, <laughs> I'm in <laughs> shock at the moment, How too. did you? What is that? <laughs> what did it cost? It's $2.99. Oh, and we're All back right, with our yes medical expert, Dr. Darren Green, in the house this morning. Of course, it is the festive season, and this is usually the, the time that yes. we experience lots of allergy symptoms. Jeez. We are taking your call, 021-4309-881. If you have any questions or queries around allergies, Dr. Darren Green is in the house. But I want to know, Dr. Darren Green, what are the symptoms of anaphylaxis? Yes, so anaphylaxis meaning the systemic reaction to yes. something that triggers your allergies. Mm -hmm. We have a flood, and your immune system system floods in all the things that cause an inflammatory reaction that 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 cause the redness the swelling the yes. pain and so forth so you can imagine histamine when okay. you start sneezing and get red itchy skin and so forth yeah. from a rash or an allergy is released in high quantities during an anaphylaxis reaction so that floods the you know the, this your system completely mm. so you get red yeah. you could become itchy 
your lips, mouth, tongue, and your throat can become swollen, called angioedema, mm. which then narrows the airway and puts you at risk of respiratory compromise. In other words, when your airway swells closed, then you can't actually get oxygen down there, sure. and then you have a lack of oxygen to the brain, and you can actually then die. Yeah. Uh, remember, the heart the muscle itself also needs oxygen to perform its function. So yeah. if you aren't breathing in oxygen due to that airway being constricted and closed, so forth as well. So what do people look like? Well, the host pipes are open during anaphylaxis. So that means that because the, 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 all the blood vessels dilate, you know, you, they look like, like, like prawns and, mm. and crayfish. So what happens is you need to constrict the blood vessels to save the person's life, and that's okay. where the treatment comes in. Yeah. But the blood pressure, because of the host pipes dilating, falls into, plummets into the ground. Yes. You get dizzy, fainting, and you feel like passing out and so forth. And that, those are primarily, you look like someone that's having a panic attack and red and swollen sure. and et cetera, et cetera, wow. all at the same time. Wow, okay. we were. We've got a call on the line. Mm. Catherine from Darling. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning. Fantastic to have you on the line. Uh, what is your question or comment? I want to know, every time I'm dying, my hair color, my hair, my eyes swollen, I've got a allergic attack and something like that. I want to know what's wrong because I'm 50 years old. Okay. And I'm using hyper principles. Mm. I don't know if that's the cause of it. Okay. So a hair dye. Yes, very common yes. Uh, cause and trigger of allergies. Some people, uh, your skin becomes quite sensitive to some of the chemical compounds. Yeah. And the eyes, obviously, are in the same region. Sometimes just the vapour of the chemicals on yes. your head can actually cause so a significant reaction. If you think yeah. that people get an allergic reaction of the eyes and eyelids just to simple makeup and brushing yourself with a bit of powder, you can imagine with chemicals like that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you're colouring hair or peroxiding hair, etc., etc., et cetera. Remember, a certain degree of the chemical gets absorbed through the skin as well, True, yeah. which yes. can also lead to dye consequences. Yeah. So perhaps maybe trying another brand of hair dye, or Correct. maybe even dyeing your hair whilst wearing goggles. There you go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's a practical Thank suggestion. Much. Yeah. Thanks, Cathy from Good Darling. Luck. <laughs> Darling, fantastic. Yes. Um, we're going to keep our lines open, 0214309881, and continue our conversation regarding allergies on the other side of this <laughs> sneeze. It's my feel good Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. So good to have you with us. Tuesday morning, which means we chat all things uh, medical with our Dr. Darren Green mm -hmm. joining us to talk about allergies, anaphylaxis being the focus, the severe systemic reaction uh, against some kind of, uh, uh, I guess, contagion trying to harm your yes. body. Yes, an invasive of particle. Indeed, yes. Dr. Darren Green. We spoke about what the, what the um, symptoms yes. of anaphylaxis yes. are, the swelling of certain parts of your body, the, the influx of, of the redness. redness of blood to certain hives. areas, hives. Yes. Yes. Now, how do those symptoms differ from other illnesses? Good. Like asthma or... You know, oh, a local asthma. skin reaction, yes. for example, you know, just from a simple roll on the grass. So the local skin reaction is not anaphylaxis. Okay. A local, limited to one speci specific uh, system, like, or organ system, yes. like your skin, yes. is not anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a systemic response to the allergen. In your other entire words, system. Yes, so your blood pressure will change, your pulse rate changes, you have a fall in blood pressure due to the vasodilation throughout your body, you have tachycardia, which is a fast pulse rate, you have respiratory distress or stridor, which is where you obviously have breathing through a narrowed uh, airway. Yeah. You know, that terrible mm -hmm. sound. You know, <laughs> that's it. That's it. And it's very fast, etc. So you'll be dizzy, you'll feel faint, and so forth. The local skin reaction, you don't have any of the, uh, those symptoms. You just have a, a red, raised hive, perhaps. Yes. Uh, like people often get things like atopia or eczema over time, if you look at that red hive over there sure. on, on, the, on the arm. Um, so, you know, that's just one specific localised reaction. But when you start seeing swelling of the airway, if you wait too long to see if it becomes systemic, often the airway closes and it's too late. Oy. Then you can't even intubate the patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't even put a, a, an artificial airway, uh, basically, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the airway to actually maintain it. Yeah. So we can oxygenate su sufficiently. And that, of, obviously, over there is, is what we call an EpiPen. Epi -pen. That's adrenaline. The number one treatment for anaphylaxis and saving someone's life is adrenaline. And okay. you need adrenaline. And, Often you'll find that's a ready-made uh, little pen that you stick into your thigh. Yes. And, and you just depress the, the top of it. Yeah. And so it's quite amazing. That you can travel around with if you're known with a severe yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, allergic reaction before, now, then you'd have to prepare. Now I'm just wondering whether just as a standard preventative mm -hmm. measure, you should have a couple of EpiPens in your first aid kit at home. Because, like I said, sometimes you don't know that you have an allergic reaction. 
until you actually consume that substance and then yeah. boom, right there you're yeah. in. Adrenaline is something that can save a life. Uh, of you, they come in small glass ampules as well, so you can keep that at home if you need to. Uh, but obviously these are prescribed drugs. But you can't just leave them lying around. They have a shelf life. They have okay. a certain expiry date. Mm. And they can cause severe systemic effects if you take them inappropriately. Oh, okay. You can imagine. So that closes the host pipes that are open. It causes vasoconstriction to up the blood pressure. Okay. Well, All right. I want to talk about which foods cause anaphylaxis because yes. naturally we're going into the festive. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're a lot more liberal with everything we're putting into our mouths. Correct. We're throwing caution to the wind, <laughs> living our best for. lives. But <laughs> yes. of course, this could all be detrimental yes. to our health. So we'll chat about that as uh, we return with our medical expert, Dr. Darren Green.